In this video, we will be looking at the database eMarketer. So from the library's homepage, you can get to this database by clicking on databases. Now there are two ways to use our databases. One is to find it in the subject areas, but since we know the title, we're going to go over to the databases A to Z list and click on that. And now since it, the title is eMarketer, I can click here and go to the E section. As you can see, here's eMarketer. Before I click on it, I want to click the plus sign to learn more about it. Clicking the plus sign next to any of our databases will give you more information about the topics that that database covers and some information about what types of information is, are in the database. So for example, here you can see it. this says that eMarketer provides data, insights, and perspectives for marketing in a digital world. So that can help you to decide if this is the right database for your project. So now let's click on the database. So I've already logged in, so I was not prompted to log in, but normally you would be prompted to log in with your username and FIT password. So this is the eMarketer homepage. As you can see, there's the option to search, and then they also have drop-down menus. eMarketer offers a few different types of resources. You can see some of them on their homepage. So if we scroll down, you can see that they offer reports, as well as articles, forecasts, and even a podcast, which is audio files. So these are all different ways you can interact with their information. Their information really focuses on data related to digital advertising. So let's take a dive into some of what's available. So let's say that you were interested in looking at advertising and marketing information. With this drop-down menu, you could make specific selections. So you can see that perhaps I could say that I am interested in social media specifically, and now I can pick within that. So I'm interested in social media users. This will now take me to the section of their website specifically about social media users. And again, they're going to have a variety of different types of information, articles, reports, forecasts, charts, and related. So let's take a look at what an article looks like first of all. So we're going to pick Snapchat stagnates and TikToks on its tail. And you can see that this has information about Snapchat, Instagram, and TikTok users. And in addition to these charts, it also has some analysis. And then it will link you to related content. Most of their articles are relatively short and pithy and many of them are available for download. So you could download this as a PDF if you would like. Going back to the main page related to social media users, I could then say, well, I'm interested in reports. This section of the page has reports that feature data about specific aspects of this area. So let's look at US Social Trends for 2021, which is their report looking at what they think is gonna happen in 2021. So as you can see, they start with an executive summary, and one of the nice features they have for their reports is a table of contents. So you can jump ahead to whatever you're particularly interested in. For example, let's say I just want a summary of the key takeaways. I can click on that and I'll be taken down to the bottom with their key takeaways. Now let's say instead I want to look through the entire thing. I can scroll through, and one thing that you'll notice is that they do integrate charts throughout. And that can be very useful when you are looking for data specifically. Going back to the social media users homepage, we can see that they also offer forecasts. So for example, perhaps I want to look at a forecast of Facebook use by country. I can click here and I'll be taken to data on Facebook users by country. One of the nice things about their data is that you can select what you want to see in a few different ways. First of all, you can select here by clicking on these options. And you can also select what exactly you want to see in any given chart by selecting within here. So if you wanted to specifically focus in on Australia, you would make that selection and that's going to add that data to your chart. If you wanted to output this information, you could export it to Excel or export the chart as an image. 
Now under charts, you'll see that you can see sort of snapshots of the individual charts that they provide access to. And if you would like, you can click into an individual chart to see more information and more detail. Again, you'll see that they have multiple ways to export this information, including a JPEG of the chart, Excel of the data, and a PDF. Also, they tell you the source clearly whenever they're using data, which is a helpful way to make sure that you're understanding where the data is coming from and whether or not it is reliable. They also include methodology information, which is important to understanding exactly what the information is telling you. Now, in addition to advertising and marketing, they offer financial services data, health-related data, and a section called More Industries. More Industries is where you can find a lot of different types of topics from automotives to real estate and retail, which is the section that includes apparel, fashion, and accessories. This is also where you would find toy and game data. So let's click on apparel and accessories and see what they have to offer there. So you'll see that this looks like a similar landing page. They have some articles and then down here we have reports, forecasts, charts, and related. So let's say I wanted to jump right to the forecast. I could click on this and I'll be able to see immediately what forecast they have available related to apparel. Going back to the top, let's say I wanted to see holiday shopping data. I could click on holiday shopping 2020 and this is again going to give me a report. But note that it also says right here that it's going to offer me access to a deck and charts. And that is that download that I mentioned. So if you were to say that you were interested in the deck option, that would give you a PowerPoint presentation that includes this information on slides. So this is a great way to use this for presentations if that's what you're interested in. The final feature that it's important to know about is this build section. They're adding new features here all the time, but the one I want to mention is this build your forecast feature. Currently in beta, this feature allows you to compile your own data from a selected list and put it together in a visualization. So if I wanted to know more about Alibaba ad revenue and Alibaba ad revenue growth, I could say that I was interested in those two types of data, visualize selected metrics, and you'll see that I end up with a chart that covers this topic. I can again export this, and I can export the data in a table format as well. Notice that because this is forecast data, it includes both past data and the forecast for the future. So that is an overview of eMarketer. It has a lot of great tools that you can use and data that you can mine for your projects. So I hope that you will check it out. If you have questions on this or anything else, please ask the library.